Welcome everybody to Our Green Acres. My name is Teresa. Today's video is going to be a fun one. We're going to make some really easy, fun, and affordable decor projects for our home. And if you are not already following me on all the social media platforms, I hope you'll go over and connect with me there. Okay y'all, let's get started making some really pretty decor. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little metal bicycle. Now this come off a piece of wall decor that I purchased at Big Lots a few years ago and I've already upcycled the wall decor. So I'd save this little bike. Well, I'm going to show y'all just an easy way to embellish a wreath. Now y'all know I am not a wreath maker. <laughs> so I'm going to take a boxwood wreath that I have and I'm just going to put this little bicycle on it. I'm going to show you how easy it was just to tie it on. You know, I, of course I spray painted it white, but just an easy way that you can embellish a wreath and even if you are not a wreath maker like I am just something easy like this and a lot of times you can find these little metal bicycles and stuff at Michaels and Hobby Lobby. I'll also try to link a boxwood wreath similar to the one that I have in my Amazon store. Okay, the next project, we're gonna upcycle this little metal planner. Now, I don't know how much I paid for it because I got it at a yard sale and I bundled it with several other items. So I didn't pay a lot for it. But I'm gonna paint it white and I'm gonna show you a couple ways we can decorate it and embellish it. I'm gonna take this little stencil and this will be in my Amazon store under the stencil category. Now this one right here is just the right size to go on one of the sides of my container. Now I've always told y'all if you have an item that has two sides, you can always decorate both sides and flip them around and you've got, you know, two decor pieces really for, you know, the price of one. So I'm going to put this little stencil on one side and I just put it on with some black chalk paint. And y'all, I chalk painted this with white. I went back and forth on the distressing and at the end I decided to take a lot of the distressing off. Now the other side I'm just going to add a little scrap of an IOD transfer that I had left over and I'm just going to put it on there. But you could also add another stencil to the back of it or even a stamp. So just going to show you just these little details like this on little metal containers, you know, and you can just make them, you know, a little shabby chic and put some florals in them and they just turn out to be some really pretty uh, decor pieces. Now here I'm just taking some little uh, fabric florals. Now I get these at Hobby Lobby on the wedding um, section aisle. I, I, that's one of my favorite aisles and sections at Hobby Lobby is the wedding aisle. They have some of the cutest little decor pieces and if you go half off day, you get these very inexpensive. I think those were less, I think they were around like a couple of dollars. I added a little pearl in the center of one and those are some little pearls you can get at Dollar General and I think you can get them at Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to show you some different options and now how we can, you know, have two sides to our little container and we can flip it around and enjoy both designs. Okay, the next project is going to be another yard sale find. Now, I got this a couple of years ago and I paid $2 for it. I've had it in my, in my supplies for a while. So now it is time. We're going to make this into a pretty piece of decor. Now, I'm going to spray paint it white. And y'all, we got a new um, paint sprayer from Amazon. And I will have it linked in my store. It's called The Critter. We are loving it. It is a game changer for spraying your projects. And you also save money on paint. So we just went over it with a couple of layers of the white paint 
and then I'm going to style it for you now with some thrifted dishes. Y'all, I always love to pick up my dishes at the thrift store. So I'm just going to give you some options of different ways that you can style a piece like this in your home. Okay, the next project is going to be a Goodwill find. Now, I think I paid $4.99 for this. It is all metal, but this just screamed little mini floral cart to me. So, of course, I thought this would be a beautiful spring or summer decor piece. So, we're going to spray paint this white while we've got the critter out and it's full of paint. We went to town on some projects that day, so we gave it a couple of coats of white paint. And now it'll be a great piece that we can display florals and greenery in. And I think it pairs really well with our wreath that we made. Okay, the next project is going to be a cute little tea towel I'm going to show you that's going to be super easy and very affordable to make. You'll want to take a flower sack cloth or a tea towel, and I will have these supplies listed in my Amazon store. And uh, this little bird stamp, I just received it, and it is in the $6 to $7 range when I purchased it. But anyway, I will have it listed, but I have made a previous project in my last week's video with it and I absolutely love this stamp but you just want to take a piece of cardboard I used a no scrap cereal box put it up under your flower sack cloth just so the, the top layer just so your stamp won't bleed through apply your ink and just press it on to your flower sack cloth and it's that easy now you can make so many things with this little bird stamp and I'm going to show you a couple more projects coming up in the video of a couple more things that I made with it. But this is a really fun stamp to get. So hopefully um, y'all go out, shop my Amazon store, and you know, and, and have fun with it. Okay, the next project is going to be another really easy and affordable project. That's what I'm trying to bring to you today. It's just real affordable home decor pieces that we can make and that are fine. You're just gonna need a frame. This is one that I thrifted and I think I paid a dollar for it and then I just painted it white. Now I've got a couple of cards from a couple of my sweet friends, viewers that watch my channel, Michelle and Karen. They sent me some cards and I think they're absolutely beautiful. The words that they wrote in them and then to the fronts of them. So I've saved them. So just an easy way that you can make some really pretty decor for your home. It doesn't have to be expensive. Just take some thrifted frames or some old frames you have. You paint them and then put in some really pretty note cards or cards. And then that way, every time I look at these little frame cards, I always think of Michelle and Karen because I know those cards were sent from them with love. So just another little inexpensive idea of, you know, ways that you can decorate your home on a budget. I want to take just a minute to let y'all know that I now have a business page on Facebook where I will be creating and uploading content. So I want to make sure y'all go over and like and follow it. This is a page that I will be posting some things on. I will be putting dollhouse updates out here. I'll be putting shorter versions of videos, just different kinds of content. I'll try to do some thrift hauls over here. 
So all you have to do is just go over, like the page, and make sure to follow it. And I'll also upload and let y'all know when I put out a new video on YouTube. So now I will be on YouTube, and I'm also going to be over on Facebook putting out content for y'all. And I will leave a link to the Facebook group page down in my description box and also in a pinned comment. I really appreciate your support. Okay, let's go to the next project. This is going to be a Goodwill find. This is a little wooden crate, and I have done one of these in the past in a video, and I loved it, uh, making over these. They're so much fun, but I paid $4.99 for it, and we're going to go over it with a couple of coats of white spray paint, and again, we're still using our critter. We're just out spray painting all kinds of things on this day. Now, I'm going to take a little, um, this is a little plaque, and it's got like black chalk paint on it. I think this was a hobby lobby piece. I picked this up actually at a yard sale and I got two of them in different shapes and I paid a dollar each. And I went with that, that same stencil that I used in my previous project. I just put it on with some white chalk paint and then I'm going to put some ribbons through the little holes and to make them a little bit bigger I just took my scissors and I just kind of you know worked it a little bit bigger with my scissors or you could also use a screwdriver <laughs> which is probably preferable so you don't ruin your scissors. Those scissors right there are pretty dull but I'm just going to tie it on. Y'all know I make a lot of my ribbons and lace out of old bed sheets. This is just one that got wore out. Instead of throwing it away, I just rip it up and I make my own lace and ribbon from it. Now, I'm just going to tie this little plaque I made under the front of my little crate. And then I'll decorate it for you and show you some little ways that you can decorate it for spring and summertime. Okay, now we're going to take some little bags that I got at Dollar Tree. Now, I got these a few months ago, and I've had them, but didn't know what I wanted to do with them, but I got the perfect project. I got three of these. One's got an orange back, one's got a red, and one's got a blue. We're going to take the cute little bird stamp, and we're also, again, going to put a piece of cardboard in between our little layers of purse because we don't want the ink to bleed through. So just to make sure you've got a good backing on it and that way you won't have any bleed through on the other side. Now I'm going to show you three different ways of how you can decorate your little birds. I'm going to take this stencil and this is uh, linked in my Amazon store and I love this one. I'm just going to take the top two lines of it and I'm going to stencil it on with some black chalk paint and I'm using the Jamie Ray Vintage stencil brush. So y'all, if you want a good stencil brush that don't bleed, this is a really good one. This is a Jamie Ray Vintage stencil pack. My friend Jackie, Jackie at Ruth and Ruby, she sells these in her store. So I will have all of Jackie's information listed below. This is a great little stencil set right here. They all are in French, but they all pertain to love. So all of these are really good ones to have if you want to add just a little bit of French wording to your projects. But here's just some ideas of inspiration of some ways that you can decorate the little burlap bags. And you can also make these little bags out of a piece of burlap and just hot glue them together and make your own bag if you can't find them at Dollar Tree. But just another little idea of something fun to do with stencils and stamps. <laughs>
Okay, in this project, we're going to take another Dollar Tree piece. This is a clipboard. You can get these um, very inexpensive different places, um, but Dollar Tree does sell these. I've had this one for a while. Actually, I've done several projects with it, so it's already painted. But I did freshen it up with a fresh coat of white chalk paint. I just went over the whole thing, and then I'm just going to glue one of these little wooden ornate pieces that I have in my Amazon store. They come four to a pack, and I love decorating with these. These make great embellishments. I just hot glued it on to the clip, and then you can add any kind of, you know, decor to your little clipboard that you want to. I just took a song sheet, and I used a little bird stamp again just to give you an idea of how easy it is to make something real affordable to set up in your spring and summer vignettes. Okay, hey, y'all, we are toward the end of the video. Before I let you go, I want to remind all of you about Rose Forever of New York. Y'all know I've partnered with them for several years now. Their roses are preserved with natural oils and they last up to one year. So I wanted to just let y'all know they are running a really good Father's Day sale right now. And I also wanted to let y'all know that they are going to offer all of my viewers right now a $25 off any order discount and that was the discount code was our green acres 25 so i'm going to leave all their information down below in my description box so if you need a special gift for that someone or maybe you have a wedding coming up just you want a unique gift this one is perfect and like i say these roses last up for one year and y'all i wish you could smell them because they smell just like fresh roses that you go and pick outside so I hope you'll go out and shop their website. So y'all, as always, I hope y'all got lots of inspiration and ideas today for making some spring and summer decor for your home. And I tried to bring you some things that would be very affordable and a lot of fun projects to make. So as always, y'all, I appreciate y'all. And I hope to see y'all in my next video, which will be Monday. My new low time is now Mondays, one o'clock Central Standard Time. So I hope to see y'all then. And if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please go over and click that just subscribe button so we will always be connected. So as always, y'all, I love y'all. I really appreciate you, and I will see you next week. Bye, y'all.